All right, it is Wednesday, February 3rd, and a couple days after the cover release of Fernando Tatis Jr., we learned today that Jackie Robinson is indeed the cover athlete for the deluxe editions of MLB The Show. Uh, what that means is the steel books, the editions with the special new era cap that you get with the game, are going to have Jackie Robinson on the cover. Uh, those versions are typically in the eighty to one hundred dollar range. I'm not going to go too into the details uh, for those of you who are, you know, wondering a little bit more about like what do you get when you pre-order the game. I'm just excited about the hat. Like, I honestly don't mind too much about like all the stubs and packs and stuff that you get. I'm not into Diamond Dynasty as much as the rest of you might be. So I just want to talk a little bit about the cover and the hat itself. First, the leak that I mentioned on my YouTube channel a few days ago ended up being legit, which was somewhat surprising to me just given the source. Like I thought it was a well done image nonetheless if it was a leak and that's why I wanted to leave it up just in case there was a little bit of credibility behind it. So I did a little bit of research here. I saw this on Twitter originally and it led me to this page. The Instagram page is called MLB The Show Packs and Players. A relatively small account you can see there it only has 30 followers a lot of their posts just happen to be graphics that are posted by the show's twitter account but this one in particular was interesting because it says the show accidentally leaked this out they tagged a bunch of content creators that have a lot of followers in the mlb the show community so you got like fuzzy and coogs and people like that it says the hell is Exaggeratedly, that's how the post was originally spelled. I guess the person who runs this page went back and edited it. So that's why, you know, at first everybody thought this was fake. We had this cover come out of nowhere. Tatis has just been leaked like a day before, and there's a lot of like spelling errors on the Instagram page. So I went ahead and asked the guy, where'd you get this image from? A lot of people were calling it fake just because he said, posted it on accident earlier today and took a screenshot which there was some doubt by me and some other people in the community who saw this post because, you know, typically if a Twitter account tweets something that wasn't meant to be there, a lot of people are able to screenshot it and share it and, you know, just get like a, an image before it's taken down. And that leak would have been so much more prevalent to the community, would have gone through like wildfire a few days early if everybody saw the Jackie Robinson thing. For everybody to see that just one account posting this and you know spelling errors low follower count nobody really believed it too much i posted this image on reddit just because there are some people who like post some covers and whatnot but this one seemed really well done to me for a fake um, it shared some similarities which i mentioned in the last video you see here you have the little tears up here where it says jackie robinson for the fernando tatis covers it had the El Nino. The hat looked really good. I didn't think that that was something that you could really Photoshop just because like you can curve text, but on a hat, like you have the threads that kind of give it like a 3D effect. That's a little harder to do on the, sh like on the Photoshop. The only thing that was throwing me off is the covers, which if you look at the digital deluxe version in the top right, maybe it's just my eye, but I thought the part where it says the show was a little bit paler of a black than the other two which to me was just like oh this is obviously an edited photoshop i again looked at this image i'm like there's some stuff where i was just like this doesn't really seem legit also i mentioned like the font blending in with jackie robinson it's really hard to make out the text that says the show 21 what really kept me going aside from like the the tears at the top and the graphics was the bottom uh, i don't know why anybody would fake support the jackie robinson foundation that seemed like something that SDS would definitely do to support a charity, especially after this last year. There's a lot of civil unrest and riots, and the show was very forthcoming about wanting to support the community with Black Lives Matter. And to me, this was a good way to kind of show that support. The Jackie Robinson Foundation helps out people who have just graduated from college and kind of, I would assume, give them a little bit of a grant or a little bit of a push to get some high ranking jobs after they graduate. So that was just like, why would you Photoshop that if this was fake? 
you saw down there at the bottom it says available on playstation and xbox we had known for like a day that it was only going to be on those two consoles so again i was like a you know if this is fake that's a good attention to detail and a lot of people are questioning the early access they're like why do you have that during a pandemic i thought it would be great for san diego studios to test out their servers which i do think will end up being the case so all those things considered when i posted it on reddit there are a lot of people that said this is fake i had my doubts just because of the source but there was just too much in my mind that was still there where i was just like this is probably something i'm going to see how it pans out next thing you know the tatis cover was leaked and mlb the show tweeted that they'd have more on the deluxe edition on wednesday once that happened i kind of knew this was going to be it just because why else would you wait until Wednesday to talk more about Tatis? Sure enough, uh, here we are on Wednesday. Jackie Robinson's on the cover. I am pre-ordering this edition. Let me just get another closer look here at the Steelbook, the actual Steelbook, which again, kind of looks a lot more cleaner than the graphic, but I still think the black part that says the show isn't very visible on the actual cover. There's another look at the hat. Go back here. It's turned a different way. Real quickly, too, I just want to go on to the Instagram post one more time here. Um, a lot of people today, after the news came out, was just like, how did this one person get this? And, you know, why did they talk about, like, taking a screenshot and then saying, like, they didn't actually have the full post on Twitter or Facebook, wherever they found it from? Uh, some people speculated on Reddit that it was to protect their source from the inside with GameStop or whatever. Me, I was reading these Instagram comments and just like the spelling errors and stuff. I'm just like, this is probably just a kid who happened to luck out because a lot of his comments and posts and stuff just seems very short and minimal. You know, like younger kids tend to talk a little bit shorter sentences and just one, re one word replies and all that. If you go on his Instagram here, it actually has a link to his YouTube channel, which... Um, I searched on YouTube, said no results found. Eventually I did find it on here. Again, not a very big YouTuber or anything. I'm not gonna scroll down because there's a picture of this person and it is indeed a kid. So, but like you see here, we got some Fortnite clips and MLB The Show stuff. Like this isn't really somebody you'd expect to have a person on the inside. So whoever this kid is, well done. You won the lottery, you were the first person that I could trace this leak to. I don't know if that's going to give you any clout or anything like that, but I still think that's a really cool thing to tell your friends later on. So, as far as pre-ordering this game, uh, I'm pre-ordering this game. I love the snapback hats that they've made in years past. Uh, I just love wearing hats in general, so I'm getting one. I personally am still a little bit disappointed about the direction that they're headed with year-to-year -year saves. I don't know too much about the game, which, you know, some people would be like, you know, you got to learn a little bit more about it before you pre-order it. I'm just a sucker for the hats, and uh, with the logo work I do, I kind of make that back anyway. So even if I just do it from, like, a business standpoint, it makes sense. Hoping with franchise, again, year-to-year -year saves aren't a thing any longer. I'm hoping that means they revamp their franchise, which is a bit refreshing to think about you see like some other video game developers in the sports market and franchise just isn't really something that anybody gives any real time or effort towards anymore so if the reason there aren't any year to year saves is because of a completely revamped or better version of franchise i'm all for it i'm gonna be a little bit bitter that i'll have to start over or keep playing the old edition of the game to keep with the save file that I've had since 2014, but so be it. Again, I'm not going to talk about all the things that come with the Deluxe Edition. You do get the PS4 disc and the PS5 digital code. For people wondering why it's not the PS5 disc, I think that's just because in order to like keep people from selling it on the online markets, it has you like start with the PS4 disc first and then it unlocks the PS5 download or something like that. I've seen people who said the same thing kind of applied on NBA 2K, really don't know the 100% truth behind that, but a lot of people are asking too, if you get the Jackie Robinson steelbook, do you also still get the Tatis cover? The answer to that is no. So I actually have the Javier Baez MLB 20 edition with the hat that I got from this last year. So first I'll start off with the hat here. There is a 
box that it comes in and I'll show that here in a second, but you basically get the steelbook and this just in one package and there's like a little cardboard layer that separates the two. So there's the hat. It's a snapback. It's not fitted. I've seen some questions about that too. So it's adjustable, really nice fit, like new era, everything that you expect with their quality is there. So here's the box, just opens up from the top. Really cool thing though, you can kind of display if you have like an entertainment center, this box that has like the graphic on the outside. Let me zoom out here a little bit. So there is the box. And then lastly, you get the steelbook. It's not just the standard cover with a like new thing on top of it. So like for the Javier Baez, the standard edition is him jump throwing the baseball. This one's actually just him like staring at you, putting on some eye black. But this part here is a sleeve that comes loose and the steelbook itself is, you know, got an intricate little design, but as you can see, not the normal cover that they just put like a slip cover with a different one on top of it. And then on the inside of the steelbook is the code for downloading all of your stubs and extra stuff that comes with the pre-order. So when I look at this Jackie Robinson cover right here, it'll probably just be the plain gray steelbook and the part where you see Jackie in like the little different shades of like the ripped grays, those are probably just part of the sleeve, like the one that I just showed you here. So again, there you have it. There is the Jackie Robinson Deluxe Edition, MVP Edition. There's a lot of different stuff that you can get with the game. And not sure if I mentioned it earlier, it's kind of showing on the screen here. For every copy sold, PlayStation's donating $1 to the Jackie Robinson Foundation. I also tweeted myself on Twitter today for all of the logo commissions that I do between launch and July 1st, which is typically around the time that it kind of tapers out anyway. I will be donating 5% of what you guys send to me for those logo commissions to the Jackie Robinson Foundation. Last year I was able to complete a little bit more just due to the pandemic and being at home. This year it might be a little bit tougher since I am back to work and all that fun stuff, but I average about a logo every day. And the point I want to make about the donation that I'm making myself is that's just not logos I complete by July 1st. I usually have a running list of people who send me stuff. Even if you just put in a request in my logo queue and I don't get to it by July 1st, I will still count that towards the total once it is completed. I'll probably do the donation itself by like August. Thanks for checking out the stream and I will see you guys next time.